Tuesday night, we heard gunfire coming from the area near the Algiers. Police was there. There was a lot of shooting. So I'm going to review Detroit, which is based on true events with the backdrop of the Detroit riots, um, the cities under curfew with police, army and the National Guard patrolling um, the city in order to keep some sort of order. Unfortunately, um, in this story, it focuses on the three African Americans that were murdered in the Algiers Motel. This is an intense uh, storyline and it focuses and follows um, different aspects of the story. Um, the band, also it focuses on the police officers, the racist police officers. It gives a brief uh, point of view from the writer's uh, point of view, I suppose. Um, and the anti-rioters. So looking at all these different storylines, it kind of gives you a state of mind that the city was in. Um, turmoil, anger, upset, um, on edge, just generally on edge. I would say um, that there's plenty of positives to talk about in this movie. Brilliant, brilliant cast that pulled everything together. Like I feel like everyone brought their A-game to this. The director, Catherine Bigelow and Mark Bowl, I think that's how you say his name, um, clearly work fantastically together and uh, understand each other's workflow because um, seeing them work together on Zero Dark Thirty and Hurt Locker, you, they're really good at intensifying situations and really focusing on the small things to kind of build suspense and, uh, and, and put you there with them. Police! Um, when I watch a movie, I often ask myself, like, what was the point of this movie? What did they hope to evoke? Has it changed my perception of anything, the situation? Um, and, like, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, like, I did leave the cinema pretty much. And, uh, pretty but any time you watch anything like that, especially something for me personally, surrounded around race, you do, you do feel some type of way. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to start a frigging riot. Calm down, part down. But you, you do, it does remind you of the state of plague. Considering 50 years later, we're pretty much in the same situation. Um, and it kind of just reminds you kind of the shittiness of the world. Although I totally love this movie and um, I appreciate I appreciate the storytelling, I did feel they kind of amped up the whole Detroit riot thing. Um, it should have been maybe uh, titled the Algiers Hotel, the murders at Algiers Hotel. I don't know, something along the lines of not Detroit because it makes it seem like we're gonna it's gonna focus more on the riots and what happened and why and the outcome etc etc and um, rather than one particular story that happened in one that happened one night which is important to tell do not get me wrong but I think it's misleading I don't feel like the film gives you enough um, depth or information of why um, the right has begun to be to begin with why people are feeling anger, why people are feeling oppressed, even though it's obvious. But I think that they take that for granted, that we're just going to assume we understand and we know. I feel like it should have um, delved deeper and given more examples of what of, of what led up to the riot. Um, but overall, I loved watching this film. Um, it's a bit serious. Um, do not think you're going to watch Happy Go Lucky Movie. Um, fantastic performances. Um, and I love a true events movie um, and for those reasons I give it 8.5 um, I recommend you go watch this film while you can while it's in the cinema if you don't get a chance to um, as soon as it's out on Sky or whatever um, watch it I'm sure you'll enjoy it and give me some feedback let me know if you enjoyed it as much as I did or if there was any negatives in there that you felt they could have you know uh, made better or highlighted on holla Melvin, you want to go home? Yeah. What happened at the motel?